Let's use the program to look at the logistic equation for another value of r. Let's try 3.1. This is the r value that you worked with in the quiz at the end of last section, where I asked you to find the first few iterates for the logistic equation with a r value of 3.1 and an initial condition of 0 0.1. So let's try that and see what happens. So let's scroll down to the orbit or itinerary. And I hope that these few numbers look familiar, that you calculated these with a, a calculator or maybe perhaps a computer program of your own. So the initial condition, our seed, is 0.1. And then we get 0.279 and 0.62359. OK. But now let's look at the long-term behavior of this. What's happening in the long run? The orbit starts to wiggle. And then it seems to settle into a cycle. See it a little more clearly. Maybe I, we can plot some more iterates. Let's look at 50 iterates. So in this view, we can see a little more clearly that after some initial transitory phase, we end up with a period two cycle. Let's look down at the um, iterates, and we can see that the number is jumping between 0 0.55802 and 0 0.76457. So 55802, and then we see 55802 again. So it's a, a, it's a cycle. We would call this a cycle of period two because it takes two iterations to return to, uh, to complete a cycle. This behavior is stable. It's attracting. And we can see that, as usual, by trying initial con different initial conditions. Let's try, scroll down so we can see the plot, 0.2. The behavior uh, for the early time is different, but in the long run, we see the same behavior. So different orbits are getting attracted to these, um, to the cycle. Let's try something maybe in the middle of the cycle. Let's try 0.66. See what happens then. Then instead of kind of wiggling from the out in, it wiggles from the in out. Uh, I'm not sure that's the best way to say it, but probably this picture is better than the words I'm saying. It starts wiggling, and we end up in the same period, too. The numbers we see are the same numbers that we saw before. Um, let's try one more. Let's try 9, 9. That's always good for some drama. This is starting the rabbits very close to their doomsday number, the um, annihilation population. And again, we see a big crash, but then it grows. And again, it settles into this cycle of period 2. So this is some new behavior. We haven't really seen this before. This is a periodic cycle. And it's period 2. And most importantly, it's stable. Many orbits are attracted to it. If the population is on this orbit, this cycle of period two, and it moves off it a little bit, it will return back to it. Let's summarize the behavior of the logistic equation for r equals 3.1. We found that there is an attracting cycle of period two. And the values it um, cycled between were around 0.56 and 0.76. It's attracting because nearby orbits are pulled into it. We could also say that it's stable if the population was in this cycle and got moved a little bit away from it. It would return back to this cycle. So it's stable, just like fixed points are stable. And we can summarize this behavior in our final state diagram as follows. There would be two dots, 0 0.56, 0 0.76. There are two final states here. If I let, if I chose an initial condition, iterated for 100 times, and then watched it for 100 more, it would be bouncing back and forth between these two values. I can't really draw arrows on here like we could for the phase line, because it's moving back and forth. 
So instead, in this final state diagram, we're just summarizing the final value or values that the orbits um, are found in. Let's experiment with one more R value. Let's try, instead of 3.1, 3.5. And I'll choose an initial condition, I don't know, 0.11. So if I make the time series plot, again, we see periodic, cyclic, regular behavior. And in this instance, the period is not 2, but 4. Start here, go 1, 2, 3, 4, and then we're back where we started. So we would say this is period 4 because it takes 4 iterations to complete one cycle. As before, this behavior is stable, and the easiest way to see this is to just try a bunch of different initial conditions. I'll try some initial conditions, and notice that the long-term behavior here doesn't change. Some of the short-term behavior might, but all the orbits are going to end up in the same place. Here's a different initial condition. Okay, that shifted the phase, but the long-term behavior is the same. Try 0.88. Again, we're still seeing period 4, the same cycle. Let's do the dramatic one, 0.99. Big crash, fast growth. Again, we end up with period 4. This program will let you plot um, a lot of iterates if you want. So if you needed to see the really long-term behavior, you could do that. Here's 200 iterates. The graph gets kind of smooshed together, but again, you can see this regular pattern. One, two, three, let's try it again. One, two, three, four, back to where we started. And we can go down here and look at the table of numbers, and we can see that it is indeed repeating. The numbers are indeed repeating every four. So for this R value, we have a stable or attracting cycle of period four. Let's summarize the experiments we just did on the computer. We were looking at the logistic equation with R equals five, and we found an attracting cycle of period four. And looking at the orbits, the numbers, we found that it cycles among these numbers. It's period four because it takes four iterations to cycle back. One, two, three, and then it repeats. It's attracting because nearby orbits are pulled towards it. Equivalently, it's stable. If the population is on this cycle and gets pushed off of it, it would return back to this cycle. And lastly, we can summarize this behavior with a final state diagram. In this case, there are four final states because it's cycling among four values. So on my final state diagram, remember this is zero, this is one, I would have four values corresponding to the values um, in the cycle. One, two, three, four, there they are. So when R is 3.5, we have an attracting cycle of period 4. So we've seen that the logistic equation is capable of cyclic behavior. And these cycles are stable or attracting in the same way that the fixed points we've seen previously are stable or attracting. Different R values give rise to cycles of different periodicities. So far, we've seen cycles of period two and period four. We can tell a story about the period two or any period cycle in terms of the rabbits if one wanted. Perhaps one year, um, there are a few too many rabbits and they eat a lot of the food, whatever rabbits eat, grass and rabbit food, I guess. And then the next year, because they ate so much this year, there's not as much food around and so the population declines because there are a lot of hungry rabbits. But then because there are fewer rabbits, the grass and rabbit food grows back. So then next year, it's good to be a rabbit and the population increases. And so we can imagine a cycle of a few too many rabbits for a few too few rabbits and um, that that cycle repeats. And it's not surprising, I hope, that we're seeing cycles. Cycles are repetitive behavior and iteration is about as repetitive as it gets. 
We're doing the same thing, applying the same function, the logistic equation with a fixed R value over and over and over again, using the output for one year as the input for the next. So it's not at all surprising, I hope, that we see cyclic and repetitious behavior. In the quizzes that follow this lecture, you'll get a chance to explore further some of the different behaviors that the logistic equation shows. I strongly suggest you try these explorations before continuing on to the next section.